The brain drain is not a new phenomenon. One quarter to half of the college-educated nationals of Ghana, Mozambique, Kenya, Nicaragua, and El Salvador choose to leave their home countries and live in OECD countries. How can these and other developing countries reverse this trend? Tough question. Uh, you're not going to keep your people there until you create social and economic conditions for them to stay. Other things being equal, under virtually any circumstances, people will choose to stay rather than go. Think about it. Don't think as Americans. Put yourselves in the shoes of these immigrants, and you move to France. They don't like you particularly much. They speak a funny language. I'm not picking on the French, incidentally. <laughs> they speak a funny language. You don't understand it, and you get to lots of jobs. And and on top of that, you cannot reunify with your family. What kind of a deal is this? So other things being equal, even if you're poor, you'll stay. Number one, you have to make sure that you do better at home. We can also contribute. We can make it easier for them to go back and forth. We've learned a big lesson from China, Korea, and India. In the, recent, in the last decade or so. We're still stuck on a migration model that says people live and they live permanently. Migrants at the high end tend to be investors. The same way that when you have an investment portfolio, you try to sort of put a little bit of money into this and a little bit of that, so in case everything sort of fails, at least you don't lose your shirt, they do the same thing. If they hear of some good opportunities or changes back home, they may start a company, perhaps initially a little bit of trading, export, import. Then it develops, it develops into something else. And we now have the phenomenon of Bangalore, or for that matter, having books being produced in the United States as of the last three or four months, in fact, some significant books, that are decrying the fact that people with steels, who either came with these steels or came and then augmented those steels, are going back to their countries. We're complaining, in other words, that some people are doing what it is that is implied in your question, that they should go back and help their country become more developed. Again, it's part of the complexity of migration.